Hi, my name is Austin. I'm here with Battleborn Batteries, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up the BMV 700 series battery monitor. And what's really cool about this device is that you can monitor your entire battery bank right from this device, or if you get this, the Bluetooth dongle, you plug it right into the back, you can monitor everything right from your phone, everything about your system right from your cell phone. So first I'm going to walk you through how to set up your BMV straight from the device itself. And what's great about this is that you can mount it anywhere where you have your battery bank. But today we're going to show you how to set it up right in our warehouse. So now I'll show you how to set up the Bluetooth dongle with the BMV 700 that you see here. So just going to open this up. And the dongle plugs right into the back into the white port. Just click that in. So now let's apply power. Switch this on, and as you can see, the BMV lights up. So now you want to click and hold setup for five seconds, and the setup screen will appear. So the first thing it says battery capacity. You're going to want to press select, and make sure it's at 99 amp hours. And then press setup. It'll bring you back to the setup screen. Press the minus button to scroll down. It'll say charged voltage, select. Make sure it's at 14.4 volts. And then you press setup again to go back. Minus sign to go down. It'll say tail current. So press select. Make sure that's point, sorry, 4.0%. Then press select, select, setup. Minus sign to go down to the menu. Now it'll display charged detect. Press select. Make sure it's at three. If it is, press setup, scroll down, say pure cart constant now. So press select, make sure that's set at 1.05. Press setup, and then minus to go down again through the menu. Now let's say charge efficiency, so press select, make sure that's at 99%. And if it's not, you can adjust it with the minus and plus sign. And if it is, just press setup again to go back, go down again. We'll say current threshold, press select, make sure that's at 0 0.10 amps, and then press setup to go back, minus to go down through the menu. Now it'll say time to go, press select, make sure it's at three, and then press setup to go back to the menu again, minus to go down, and it'll say zero current, press select, make sure it's blinking zero, then press setup, go back. Now say synchronize, press select, make sure it's blinking sync, press setup to go back, go down, it'll say relay mode, press select, leave it at default, press setup, now you're good to go. So now I'll show you how to set up your Victron BMV right from your smartphone. So first step is to download the Victron Connect app from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Once you have that downloaded, open it up and you'll be presented with this screen here. And if you don't see your device at the very top, just pull down and release to refresh the screen, it should appear. So go ahead and click on that. And you may need to update the device, so if it asks you for that, just follow through the prompts and it'll bring you to this screen when it's all done. So this is your home screen where it shows all the information about your battery bank and your system. So what you want to do to set it up first is click on this icon on the top corner, go to battery. And the first thing you want to do is change battery capacity to 99 amp hours. So you just click on it like so, type in 99 amp hours, done, and it's set. Then charge voltage, you want to change that to 14.4. You would adjust that just as you did the last one. So just type 14.4, you're good to go. Just press done. And then likewise, for tail current, you want to set it to 4%. Charge detection time, 3 minutes. Pure current's exponent, 1.05. Charge efficiency factor, 99%. Current threshold, 0.10 amps. And time to go, averaging period, 3 minutes. So once you have all those set, just click back on settings. And then you want to go to relay right below battery. 
click on relay. You want to start from the top. So battery mode, just keep it as default. Inverter relay, you want to make sure that's off and make sure the next uh, minimum close time, zero minutes. Relay off delay, zero minutes as well. We go down to the next section. Low SOC relay, set that to 5%. Clear low SOC relay, set that for 10%. Low voltage relay, that's set that for 11 volts. And then clear low voltage relay, 12.5 volts. High voltage relay, 14.8 volts. And then clear high voltage relay, 14.4 volts. Go to the next section. So that's low starter voltage relay, set that for zero. Clear low starter voltage relay, zero volts again. High starter voltage relay, zero volts again. And then lastly, clear high starter voltage relay, set that for zero volts. And just press settings again, back out to the home screen. That's all you need to do. So lastly, we just really want to emphasize how great this device is. You can control everything right from your smartphone if you have the Bluetooth dongle, or you can simply monitor everything from your battery bank to charge controllers right from this device in your RV, in your home, wherever you want to mount it. Thanks for watching.